For this third code example on how to control a linear actuator, we're showing incremental control from an analog joystick. So as you can see here, very simple setup. We have an analog joystick here going into our sensor shield, and then our output is going to our linear actuator. So you can see that when I move the joystick, my actuator goes in one direction and the other, for as long as I'm holding the joystick. When the joystick self-centers, the linear actuator stays in place. So what's happening in the code is there is a dead band in the center of the joystick, and it's looking to see if the joystick has moved out of that dead band. The reason we have a dead band is that not every potentiometer centers in exactly the same place, so you have to give it a little wiggle room so that there isn't drift when you're sitting uh, stationary in the center. So it looks for when it comes out of the dead band, when it comes out in one direction, we start incrementing the position of the uh, Fregelli actuator in one direction by small units and vice versa in the other direction. So take a look at the code. It's pretty simple. You can see how it works. And that's how to do incremental movement on a Fregelli linear actuator.